So this is on trail day number 99. It's Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. I uh, did not record the three miles from the shelter into the Kennebec. I probably should have. Uh, but it was raining all day. It was just three miles. I did take some pictures of the Kennebec, so I'll throw those in real quick. start back where I left off. I stayed at the Sterling Inn, which is a mile and a half down that road. I had to walk there here in Caratunk. And this is the trail. It's all nice and paved from here to Katat. I wish. <laughs> so the goal for today is to do 15 miles to not the next shelter, but the one after that. Uh, 15 today, 12 today, and then 8 days a miles into Monson. So that I can resupply for the 100 mile wilderness. So I did make it to the ferry in time. I got there about 11 o'clock. I got canoed across. And all's good. It rained all day yesterday, so took a double zero to Sterling in. And now I'm ready to make a beeline for Kshat. So the trail so far, leaving Karatunk, has been quite nice. Had a few uphills, but nothing like steep, just gradual. It's supposed to be like this, uh, about the first six miles to the first shelter. And then there's a small mountain to climb. And I say small, it's like 1,200 foot or something, it's not four or 5,000 feet. All the leaves are wet, but I'm not slipping around, so. Kind of cold, it's 48 degrees, but it's about perfect for hiking. So after the two and a half days of rest, I'm feeling pretty good today. So I got to the climb of the day. I believe this is Bald Mountain. And there's a large group of children behind me. And I just ran into a couple that was hiking with their kitty cat. They let me take a picture of it. <laughs> It's pretty cool. But this climbs like a thousand foot over the next mile. And then after that, it'll be back to pretty much what it's been most of the morning, which is flat. The couple with the cat said that the view is pretty good up here today, so we'll check it out when we get there. So, so far, most of the climb up this mountain has not been too bad. I 
it'll be a somewhat steep spot here and there, and then it kind of level, well, not levels out, but the steepness levels out. Pretty close to the top. It's two o'clock. I think we've got like eight miles left for the day. So not bad. How you doing? Good, how are you? Not bad. Nice. Oh. Hanging in there? Hanging in there. Nice camera setup. Yeah. How's that working out? Pretty good. Yeah? I record stuff without, you know, Just having to hold on. a camera. And, yeah. How cool. So, like the Mahusik notch was pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So it must run on a battery, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We got Sweet. several. Just turn it on when... And turn it off. That's cool. I like. I've never actually seen a hiker with that setup. That's yeah. the first time I've ever seen that. That's cool. Yeah, most of them is like holding it like this the whole time. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Like, are the, do these doubles as a selfie stick? Do they have like a? Uh, the, <laughs> could you imagine? It could. That'd be yeah. cool. It's Invent good. that. It's, it's got the threaded piece. Yeah. Ha! Huh. That's what I'm talking about, right? So cool. Cool. Well, safe trail. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Take you too. Care. Do you need any granola bars? I no, have extras. I got plenty. Okay. Take care. Appreciate it. A whole bunch of dogs out today. There's like six with that group of people. <coughs> A lot of people up here today, too. Well, it is Saturday, so. There was one small view spot back there, just a little ways, but it wasn't very good. And there was a group of people there having lunch. I think we're about to get another view though in just a minute. A little bit of a view here. And this is a little bit further to go. Maybe we'll get a better one. Pleasant Pond Mountain. Still got a little ways to go to Bald Mountain tomorrow. Moxie Pond shelter is the destination for today, I believe. Yeah, uh, not too much of a view here. Oh well, take what you can get, I guess. We got a decent view here. There was some people here, but I sat over there and had lunch. And they've left since then, so. It was nice and sunny while I had lunch, but then it got cloudy and the wind picked up. Hmm. 
I usually always put my jacket away, but since I'm going downhill, I figure I'd leave it on for now. It says it's 50 degrees. It's not super cold, but the breeze makes it feel colder. Might get another view here in just a minute. Kind of the same one, just a different angle. kind of off in the distance maybe the destination for the day over there but I'm not sure the main is definitely flattening out I think the chairbacks in the 100 mile wilderness is probably about the only terrain I got left until Katahdin. But I could be wrong. I'll just have to see. So I've got five miles to go to the Bald Mountain Brook Lean To. And it's just now five o'clock. It's going to get dark in an hour and a half. So it may be dark when I get there, but that'll be alright. Not by much. I would say there's probably no one going to be there, uh, but it is a Saturday night, and I think it's close to a road, but I'm not staying in the shelter anyway, so. Tarp's still wet from the other day when it rained the other night. And then I didn't take the time to hang it out to dry the one day it uh, uh, in that it was sunny. So it should dry at a night too. But the terrain's been nice. The descent down the one mountain of the day was pretty calm. I had some rocks and roots, but nothing technical at all. The only problem with getting into this lower elevation is it's like walking in Pennsylvania, there's no views.
We've got 3.6 miles left to get to the shelter. And this is a trail at the moment. It's kind of been rocky and rooty. I mean, not super bad, but enough where you have to go kind of slow. And there's enough rocks and roots. These leaves are kind of deceiving. It makes it just look like this beautiful path that you can just stroll at a good pace. And in some places it is the case, but... Sometimes it's, the leaves are deep enough you don't see the stuff under them. I think we have a power line coming up and a beaver bog. Maybe we get a good view of the power line. Can't never tell the power line. I like all these rocks and when the leaves on them makes it slick. This Almost six o'clock. Well, it's probably going to be like, I don't know, somewhere between a mile and a half left once it gets sunset. It may leave us with a mile after dark. It's not too bad. So this is our beaver bog. I don't see any beavers, but... I'm sure they're around somewhere. If not, I'm sure they come and go. Another thing about hiking in the fall, you have to carry extra weight. There's really no point in knocking them off because by the time you go a quarter of a mile, they're back on you. So here's the power line. You get a little bit of a view on this side. I'm, I'm assuming that's Moxie Pond. There's nothing that way. It says, uh, I'm going to cross the road, which I saw a couple of cars on already. And then forward the water. A nice camp spot right there. Uh, it does list a camp spot down here past the water source, or the, the ford. Which I'm tempted to look at the uh, shelter I was headed to. Uh, the gut hook comments, which there a few days ago, like just before the rain. That it was just stagnant puddles. That's, that's no good. I 
But considering the time of day, I mean, we've already been 12 miles. If it's a good camp spot, I might consider it. So we had to walk down the gravel road a little ways. Now we're at our forward point. Which it doesn't look like much forwarding today. It's kind of a rock hop. So we made it to the second power line, past the Ford. There was a camp spot, but I didn't too much care for it, so I'm just going to do the two, it's like 2.2 miles from here to the lean-to, and just call it a day, do the miles I planned on doing. Stay on schedule. I hope the puddles at the shelter have filled up a little from the rain yesterday. So I'll take a chance on it. So I'm less than a half mile from the shelter. We'll be there shortly. It's 7.30. Got a little rooty and rocky, which is no surprise. But overall, it's been a good day. I get to the shelter. I hope there's water. The stream back there that got hooked said was dry, it was running, so we'll see. But I got a, a quart just in case. I just have to eat something that doesn't require cooking if there's no water. We'll figure that out when we get there. But that'll be a wrap for today. We'll resume in the morning. <laughs>